Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java stack class with the help of examples so guys java collections framework has a class named as stack that provides the functionality of the stack data structure so guys in order to understand the functionality of the stack data structure as you can see whenever we add a particular element to the stack it gets added to the top of the stack so this element was added first that is first element then we had second element over here third element fourth element and there are total fifth elements now which is at the top of the stack now guys the new element that is the sixth element whenever you add it it will be added at the top of the stack over here and it will be the sixth element over here so this is fifth and then this is fourth this is third over here this is second and this is first so the sixth element will come over here and whenever you are going to remove the elements the first element that is going to be removed is at the top of the stack so the sixth element will be removed first and then the top of the stack will be this fifth element so this will be removed each time whenever you are having the pop function being executed and guys this is the main functionality of the stack which says last in first out that means the last element that came in will be the first element that will go out so guys that's the main functionality of the stack data structure so as you can see elements are stored and accessed in the last in first out so this is the main thing that is last in and first out manner and as you can see over here there are multiple stack methods the very first method is push method which is just going to add an element to the top of the stack so guys let us understand this with the help of examples now over here so we can use the stack class over here so i'll have stack so we have stack and then let's say we have the stack of integers so we have integer over here followed by let's say the object name is stack1 and then we provide new stack over here so we have initialized the stack1 object now we are going to add some elements so we have stack1 dot we can have the push method over here so we have push and then the integer that is let's say we have one as the integer similarly let's say i push some more elements over here so we have one two three and four so guys we have four elements over here in the stack so let me just print this element so i'll just provide stack content is and then we have stack one let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see stack content is one two three four this fourth element which was added in the end is at the top of the stack right now so the next method that we are going to see is pop method which is going to remove an element from the top of the stack so guys basically after printing this stack what i'm going to do is stack one dot we just have to provide the pop method it is not going to take any parameter that's because the element at the top of the stack will be removed so i'll just save this file and before running this code i'll just provide the print statement after popping the element so i'll just save this file and try running this code now so initially we provided four elements one two three four and after this pop the element that is at the top of the stack that is four it was removed and we are getting one two three now guys let's say we want to remove another one so i'll just copy this and paste this over here i'll just copy and paste so we have stack dot pop and again we are providing the stack content so i'll just run this file so as you can see three is getting removed now so every time whenever we are adding the last element inside the stack that is going to be the first element which will be removed from the stack now the top of the stack is two right now so i'll just use the other method that is peak which returns an object from the top of the stack so guys basically we can use this method in order to check what is present at the top of the stack so we have to use the print statement over here and what i will do is element at top is and then we can use the stack one dot peak method so it is going to return an integer over here i'll just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see element at top is two that's because first we removed four then we removed three now at the top of the stack two is present so two is getting returned over here by using the peak method so guys the remaining methods that is search which returns the position of the element from the top of the stack and empty method which is just going to check whether a particular stack is empty or not these you can check on your own as a homework for you guys apart from this this stack object is going to have more functions over here 
so when we provide stack one dot so as you can see there are many more methods that you can use based on their requirements so we have add over here we have clear we have clone we also have contains that will check whether a particular stack contains a particular element or not so guys in this way you can use different methods inside the stack class based on your requirements so guys that's it in this video hopefully you have got enough knowledge about the stack data structure and it can be used in your projects as well and along with that you can also use it in the competitive coding as well based on the different problems that you are trying to solve so guys please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java queue interface with the help of examples so stay tuned